and practicing and all of it? Um, it's kind of one of those things that's tough to prepare for. You try to get sleep when you when you can, but um, you don't want to take too many naps and uh, stay too accustomed to your old time zone. So, um, you know, trying to stay up on the first day you get here and, and get accustomed to that, you know, the work, work environment. When you wake up in the morning, you're practicing at, you know, 10 o'clock here, but it's 1 a.m. or, you know, 12 a.m. back home. So um, just getting your mind and your body right and prepared for that and um, not trying to overthink too much. Just go out there and, um, and work as best you can and um, just be mindful of your body. And obviously with Saudi getting a lot of football players and stuff like that, if the NBA were to go to Saudi, was it, would this be something you'd be interested in? I think so. I think a lot of guys, um, you know, th this game has grown so much, uh, you know, across the world, and um, it's it's only a matter of time before it keeps 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 growing and gets gets to places like Abu Dhabi and uh, even further. So, um, th for my first experience here, it's been great, and uh, I think we're gonna, you know, see a lot of guys venturing back out here and just trying to get it get a, the lay of the land and understand it understand it better. And uh, you never know in the future, you know, we'll see. KTO Griffin Dubai won, welcome. And you touched on Abu Dhabi there, we're so excited to have you. Grab it. I just want to know nothing about basketball. What have you done since you've arrived? Tell me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, we have we went to the mosque yesterday uh, as a team. Uh, beautiful, unbelievable. Just uh, it was an honor to go, and um, our whole team really enjoyed that. Today, I think after this, uh, we're going on a desert uh, safari. safari dinner type thing afterwards. So. Um, we're kind of making the rounds, uh, but we've been pretty busy. We've been moving around a lot and um, having a lot of team dinners and things like that. So it, it's been, um, people have been nothing but gracious for it to us so far, and we're, we're excited. You're going to love the desert safari. Please expect to hold a falcon and do some belly dance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i got to probably wear the right attire for that. I don't, I don't know if I packed correctly. Uh, it's been pretty hot and a little warm for me, but um, i got to get used to that. Enjoy your week. Thank, Thank you. you. Mike, you've been drafted in 2007, so it's been 16 years. How easy or how difficult it is for you to find motivation to play? Oh, um, it's really easy for motivation for me. Um, I've played this long and haven't won a championship yet. You know, that's been my goal since day one. Um, and, I, you know, get another opportunity here with the Timberwolves where we have a team that's capable of doing anything. And um, I'm excited to, you know, go on that journey with this team. That's what gets me up in the morning. Um, my kids are another thing. Like now that I've had, now that I have kids, they they want to see me play. So I love playing in front of them. So uh, I'm just gonna continue going until until I can't anymore. How do you feel physically? I was a little bit surprised seeing you diving for those balls <laughs> in the <laughs> oh, practice game. Oh, I'm great. Uh, I feel like I told somebody earlier. I feel better this year than I did when I was 30. You know, so um, my conditioning is really good. You know, I've been able to compete a lot with these guys throughout training camp and off season. So. You're not going to find me, you know, shying away from falling on the ground or diving or playing hard. That's just who I am, and I'm excited to continue doing it. So what's the secret for longevity? Can't tell you. <laughs> I have to pay you. You have to pay me for you for me to tell you. But uh, really, it's just, you know, taking care of your body, diet. Um, a lot of things have to change in your life that you love to do and you want to do, and you got to do what's best for your body, and I've been able to do that. So if you go into the details of your diet, what do you eat or you don't eat? Um, well, I'm basically pescatarian right now, so um, I kind of sneak in cheat days where I might eat something else other than fish, but most of the time it's fish and uh, other proteins and uh, a lot of greens. You know, just for my body, it's, it's what's worked because um, I was in love with steaks and heavy food, and that's all I ate, and candy and sugar. Like, that's my favorite things in the world, but I don't do it anymore, and um, at least until I'm done playing, I got to, like, Hold on to that and uh, see how long my body can last. Uh, Mike, you'll be facing a, a Mavericks team with Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. What are the challenges of that duo uh, as an opponent? Uh, man, you're talking about two of the best best players in the league. Uh, obviously, two of the best scorers and playmakers in the league. So, you know, normally when you have to face one or the other, you you can kind of key in on one guy, guy at a time. But when they're both on the floor together, you kind of have have your head on a swivel. Uh, because you can't kind of isolate one guy or another. So um, it's definitely going to be a test defensively and just trying to, you know, match their intensity and the way they play, um, the way they move the ball, the way they can see the floor, the way they score. So uh, it'll be fun. You know, I'm sure they're going to be better and better uh, as, the, as the season goes on. And they're just now getting to know each other a little bit. So they've only been together half a season. So um, it'll be fun.
Mike, you, you've played with a lot of good players in your career. Anthony Edwards, there's a lot of talk about him right now. Where does he rank and how good can he be? Oh, um, I don't like ranking guys, but I can tell you he's he's going to be one of the best players in the league. Um, if he's not already one of the best players in the league, he's he's got the, the mentality for it, you know, uh, aside from the skill set. We know what he can do skill set wise, but his mental is is beyond a lot of guys I've ever met, you know. So uh, for a young guy, I don't know if he's 21, 22 years old, but um, he's got a lot, you know, in his mind that he wants to accomplish. And, and there's nothing that's too big. He doesn't think that anything is too big for him as far as uh, goals or accomplishments. He thinks he's going to get every one of them. So with that mentality, he can be as good as he wants to be. A big season for him this season. I think so. It'll be a really big season for him. A lot of growth for him. I think he had a great uh, off season slash, you know, Euro season when he was over here and um, competing. And uh, I think he learned a lot about himself, uh, learned a lot about what he can do on both ends of the floor, how to be a better teammate, how to be a facilitator, uh, aside from being a scorer.